Hello everyone, you're welcome to my channel once again. My name is Rahmat. Today's video is just a follow-up on a video that I posted yesterday about an African woman who was denied um, access to a healthcare center in China. The husband of the pregnant woman, who was the one who recorded the video, has come out to explain what really happened and has also brought out another video and a series of communications that occurred between him and the Chinese officials. So please watch till the end. I'm also going to be showing you how the Chinese government edited this video that you are just watching and then uh, brought out explanations on how uh, the whole thing happened and what really happened and all that. Basically trying to cover up whatever happened and trying to create a different picture to Africa about the way they handle Africans in China. What they are trying to do is just bury the truth of what's going on and basically imprint in our minds that everything is okay with our brothers and sisters in China. But we are more discerning than our leaders. We are more courageous now. The husband of this lady has been encouraged by even our own African leaders to bring down the video that had gone viral and to also come up with another video telling people that it wasn't uh, the case, that that was not what happened. But thankfully, he is refusing to do so. He has said he is not going to do anything like that anymore. The interesting part of it is that the guy explained that the Chinese officials, after taking them to um, another hospital and giving medical care, they also promised to take them out shopping. And when they got to the shopping mall, the Chinese officials left. They left them hanging. They did not pay for their shopping. And they actually said it was a miscommunication, that they did not intend to pay for their shopping, that they were just, uh, you know, trying to help them buy the things that they need and that they are going to pay for their own shopping please stay tuned and watch till the end if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and let's keep going i want to no no we don't speak chinese okay So they want to say foreigners are not allowed in the hospital. You know, it's fine, no problem. It's okay. I don't think it's necessary. You know, it's okay. It's fine, no problem. Thank you. Okay. Hi, hello. We are thankful for the government services, the hospital services. We have come here for medical care and uh, we have tested everything, the blood, we have done all the checks we need and they are actually taking us for shopping. My name is Aderik Cheyune, I'm a Ugandan. Yeah, well, I'm here to tell you briefly about the story that has been going on, trending on uh, social media. Actually, me and my wife are the people you're seeing in that video who were denied hospital services. So what really happened, it was on the 29th of March, my wife got some uh, complications in her tummy. We happened to have gotten uh, a hospital somewhere on the GPS map. And that is how we ended up to that hospital. We were looking for gyno hospitals and the map brought us that very place. We got there, but then the nurse could not let us enter. And I managed to record that video that we sent out. So what happened was, after the video went viral, the Dongguan government, because the people who came to our house introduced themselves as people from the Dongguan government, 
Yeah, so they told us they are here to help us in one way or another. First, they wanted to first confirm whether it's us in the video. Yeah, we were like, we are the people. Then after, they told us they will get us another hospital. First, they told us that that hospital does not handle foreigners. Yeah, the hospital does not handle foreigners. Yeah, that was what the first official said. Then the other official came in because they were like three teams that came to our places at different times on that very day. So the first one was like, that hospital does not handle foreigners. Then one other official comes in and says, the hospital didn't have anyone to help us understand. Okay, like they didn't have someone to translate for us. Probably maybe that is why. So we all saw the video, you can see what exactly happened. <clears throat> so what happened was these people tell us they will book for us another hospital to help us do the scan that we wanted. Yeah, we were like, it's okay with us. It is what we had wanted in the first place. The following day, last Sunday, what day was it? Last Sunday, it was last Sunday. They took us to another hospital. They actually picked us from our home. They took us to another hospital. We found a nurse waiting for us at the gate. They were okay with us. We don't complain about the services she gave us. They gave us quite a lot of time. And everything was okay in the hospital. I appreciate that part. So after we were done with the hospital, they asked me to record a video thanking the government of China, thanking uh, the hospital people, as you might hear in one of the audios I've sent you, but then as you could hear, I was talking about what had happened to me in the first place, but then the gentleman didn't want me to say anything like that in the video, so he kept, he kept on telling me, you say this, you have to say that, you have to say that, until I had no option to no option, rather, I had no option but to just say whatever he wanted me to say. And uh, would you just make a short video for us? Because uh, something you say is, uh, how to say, uh, maybe a little long, but would it make it short oh. about our service? Yeah, the point, sorry. The point is first, the government service, the me medical service, the third is about your three requisitions of acid test, pregnancy scan, and about the free shopping, which we will take you later. Yeah, the five key things is about service of government, service of our medical, and uh, the reproduction of your acid text, pregnant scan, and about the free shop. All right. Make, uh, um, as possible, to make it clear or something uh, short as possible, okay? All right. Yeah. All right. Okay, we are making this video to make clear of the services we are making yeah, sorry. Oh. sorry, sorry. Oh. Okay. Oh, hi, hello. hello. We are back in your camera. We are thankful for the government services, the hospital services. We have come here for free medical care and uh, we have tested everything the blood, we have done all the checks we need, and they are actually taking us for shopping. We are going to do shopping. Yeah, basically and we are very happy for government that. Service, medical service. Happy for the government services. Well, to be safe. And we are happy for now. Thank yeah. you. Thank 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 you. Appreciate it. And uh, as I said, we can take you to the shopping center, which we can bring. Go. Yeah. He even said we say we are going free shopping. I had no option. I had to say everything the way he wanted. So after that, we came back home, actually not home, but then on the same building next to our home, they took us to a certain mall, that very mall that bounced me some time, but myself being just sent away from the mall, and then that hospital, hospital video also. So after the hospital, they brought us back to the mall. They had told us we are going to do free shopping. As you can hear that very gentleman in one of the audios, they did what? 
they bring us to the mall they keep recording videos of us getting into the mall we expected to do what he had told us like we are getting free shopping so me and my wife got different cards we were just packing in everything so i was recording most of the things in the in the mall the way they were happening on my camera but then later i saw it was Pick, taking my battery, I switched off the camera and put the phone in the pocket. But then after this gentleman sees me put the phone in the pocket, he approaches me and tells me they are leaving. They are finished covering us. So I ask him, you told us we are going to do free shopping. Who is going to pay for everything we are packing in the carts? He was like, no, 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 no. This is not what I meant. You're going to pay for your own things. So he was like, he didn't mean free shopping like us getting our goods paid for him like our groceries paid for, like him paying our groceries maybe it's me who doesn't understand what free shopping means then they disappear until the following morning i see the video being edited emphasizing the point how me i didn't understand what the nurse was telling us from the first hospital where we were sent away I really don't know what these people were up to. So basically what they are trying to do is to clear their image, but then put the blame on us. So far, that video has been online for like two days now, but you should see what is happening in my inbox. People are attacking me with all sorts of words. How could I do this? How could I do that? How could I lie to the people that I'm going through a tough time yet? It's my bogus head not understanding what these people are telling me, really. So it's more like these people actually had, this very man had, had asked me to get the video off the internet, that first video, to delete it off the internet. But then I told him, I have no control over that now. It's everywhere. People have seen it. So probably what he wanted was the video to get deleted, the original video to get deleted. Then they post this one of theirs that they have edited. I just uh, uh, sent a message or kind of additions for some pictures concerning concerning you are actually the services we have provided including the medical and the government service which make you happy or satisfied would you mind just send a message in your uh, wechat friendship okay Post. i will try and, that uh, yeah the first try. thing and the second would you just um, would you just uh, say that the how to say the dalang hospital in nanhua nanhua right you remember that yes. last yeah the yes. nanhua nanhua how to say nanhua female uh, hospital uh incident maybe is a misunderstanding just because the language barrier or misunderstanding that uh causes unfair reputation for dongguan that is okay is that okay for you all right i will try to do that hold on yeah 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 just uh two 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 uh two things one is for uh, your delighted flower service including the medical and the government of dongguan and the second is for the misunderstanding and uh, sorry for for the burial misunderstanding and uh, it's a rep bad reputation for dongguan that is okay all right it's okay let me let okay me do that. let me do that yeah, yeah. Right. thank you okay let me send okay. you a screenshot yeah, you can. No, no, no just, just send to me. Just uh, post it in your WeChat. Okay, no problem. Let okay. Me do that now. Okay. Mm -hmm.